On this vote, the yeas are 352, the nays are 65. Thank you. Uh, TikTok is a threat to our national security because it is owned by ByteDance, which does the bidding of the Chinese Communist Party. We know this because ByteDance leadership says so and because Chinese law requires it. This bill therefore forces TikTok to break up with the Chinese Communist Party. It does not apply to American companies. It only applies to companies subject to the control of foreign adversaries defined by Congress. First, TikTok said its data is not accessible to China-based ByteDance employees. False. China-based employees routinely access this data, even unbeknownst to employees of TikTok USA. This is a Pandora's box. What's to stop Congress or the United States government in the future from forcing the sale of another social media company claiming that it's protecting Americans' data from foreign adversaries? I am highly concerned about our data being collective and being misused by both foreign adversaries and also domestic companies. But this bill does not fix that problem, let's be honest here. This bill doesn't fix it. We could pass this, it could get signed tomorrow, I hope it doesn't. And in six months, in a year, we'll be back at the same conversation, possibly talking about some other social media platform that's misusing our data. I, I think that if our policymakers are going to weigh harms versus benefits, they might make that decision that the harms or the risks outweigh the benefits, but I see absolutely no discussion of what the benefits of TikTok are and what attempts might be made to mitigate the harm that could happen um, of, of a ban. TikTok has connected everyday people globally and see and self-improvement and building communities for support and development. I think that's uh, unfair. Um, I just, uh, I don't know. I think people are just assuming that it's doing harm, and I don't think that that's true or appropriate. I think that's insane. Um, what I have seen of the hearing already, the people in charge of this shouldn't even be in charge of it. There's a whole bunch of racial things going on to the CEO, and that's just disgusting. Um, and I don't understand how the hearing is even taking place when they're repeatedly being racist towards him. Nation, are you a citizen? Singapore. Are Senate. you a citizen of any other nation? No, Senator. Have you ever applied for Chinese citizenship? Senator, I served my nation I'm in asked, Singapore. I, no, I, I did not. Do you have a Singaporean passport? Yes, and I served my military for two, two and a half years in Singapore. Do you have, your wife is an American citizen, your children are American citizens. That's have correct. You, have you ever applied for American citizenship? Not, no, not yet. Okay. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean, no. Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? No, Senator, again, okay. I'm Singaporean. Let me ask you some hopefully simple questions.